Hello, this is Pino Ber from Czech Republic. And uh, today is the day not about the music, but about stuff that I like and about my hobbies. And one of my hobbies is building ramp pumps. Uh, you can see I have some videos about ramp pumps already on the channel, but they are really old. And uh, today I'm here after the winter and I'm starting our ramp pump first time after the winter. So I thought that it will be really interesting that I show you again how it's going. I'm actually doing this video because of uh, the fact that I have 11,000 subscribers and I think three-fourths of them uh, subscribe because, because uh, of uh, REM pump videos. So this video is for you. I think unfortunately that this video will be one of the last REM pumps videos because uh, I think I don't have anything more to post because the REM pump is ready and it's working and uh, nothing new is happening here. But now let's look at it. For those who haven't seen any of my videos about REM pumps, Let's go and watch the journey of the water for the ramp pump. The thing you are looking at is the second intake, the end intake for the intake. This is the dirty water, it comes to the separator, to the water tank and then it goes to the ramp pump. And the red tube goes here. And maybe you can see over there is the water tank, the separator. Ten seconds later. So we have been there and now we are above the water tank. You can see that it separates the dirt, the debris and the leaves from the water. And uh, a tube goes to the ramp pump in that direction. I think it's really important to have this separator, otherwise you get all of the debris and leaves and etc. into the REM pump and it can stop the REM pump. And this is the place where the fun part of the water starts. Uh, the water goes from the tank in the tube and uh, right now we are like something like two and a half meters, 2.8 meters above the REM pump itself and uh, this intake tube is from hard plastic it would be better if it would be uh, in metal but uh, it would be really difficult to to build it here and uh, it measures 50 meters so we are 2.8 meter meters above the REM pump and 50 meters from that horizontally Oops. I'm falling down because ah, quite difficult terrain. So now let's go and uh, look look at uh, the intake pipe. It's really important that there are no significant bumps and hills and stuff. Uh, that it goes like this, quite steady, flat. That the water can go back and forth because uh, uh, the important stuff is the the hammer effect that pumps actually the water and yeah let's go to the to the rim pump and let's see let's see it, how it goes so this is the rim pump as I said, we are, we are 2.8 meters below the intake and 50 meters horizontally from that. The tube is 50 meters long. And I have really nice memories here because we have done this with my father and it was a lot of fun. And it's nice here. Today I came here first time after the winter and I cleaned the ramp pump and yeah, it works. 
Here you can see the RAM pump itself. The water comes to the RAM pump from the intake tube down there to the first tee and from the first tee it comes to the waste valve. It's a custom valve. Uh, you have several, some videos here on YouTube uh, with plenty of information how to build one. And you can also download a PDF with shopping list and how to make it. Also you can download other PDF how to make the ramp pump down there in the description below from the link. And yeah, the water comes to the waste valve and then back to the T with the hammer effect as it closes. It makes hammer effect and the water crashes to the waste valve and it comes back to the T and from the T to the pumping valve and from the pumping valve to the, to the air tank that acts as a battery and to the delivery tube. I actually don't know how long is the delivery pipe. It can be maybe 40 meters or so, but I know that we are pumping the water to 17 and a half meters. So the delivery height is 17 and a half meters. So that means that we are using 2.8 meters on the head of the pump and we are converting that to 17 and a half meters. So let's see the del delivery pipe. It's just normal garden hose. It doesn't have to be anything special. It has to be just watertight. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it uh, has to take the pressure of the of the water that's above above it. So we are here at the top of the mountain, 17.5 meters high. And uh, it's so nice weather. I really like it. Let's look at the ramp pump. How much water do we get? So as you can see, we are getting something like two to three liters of water per minute. Absolutely for free, forever. And the pressure is also quite good. So I really recommend you to build your rim pump. If you have a hill and a stream, just do it. Because the pumping is completely for free and also quite man maintenance free, so let's build it. You can get all of the information about rim pumps from my other videos, previous videos. I know they are, they are really old, but uh, they are full of information. So check them out. And I hope you like this really short video. Uh, I'm sad that this will be probably the last video of rim pump, but uh, yeah, I'm sure I will think about other really interesting videos. This is just the beginning. So stay tuned and have a great time. Bye. And look at this thing. Plenty of bees.